Look at that. Hey everybody, Darren from DNA Auto Sales. Want to show you a quick preview of our latest unit going up for sale. A 1995 GMC Weekender camper van. The odd thing about this is actually built by a yacht company. It's not a coachman, it's not a road truck, it was built by a yacht company. Um, kind of a cool unit, very, very clean. Newer tires. Um, forget what the miles are, let's look at the miles. I think Yeah, 84,000 miles on it. Very blue. Yeah, check that out. CB radio, all the uh, classic 1995 wood trim accents that go with your boating club. But very clean. Um, we're waiting on getting a windshield. That's gonna happen Monday. Got a crack and a bunch of the uh, Pretty good smash the windshield right there. So new windshield's going on on Monday. Does have RV air conditioning way up top there. And this thing has a feature that I guarantee no one's ever seen in a Class B camper van before. I'm gonna go that far out that saying that you've never seen this feature and I'm not saying it's a good useful feature, but it does have a feature that you've probably never seen before. So we'll take a quick look around the back a minute first. Cool paint job on this thing too. Of course, DNL sticker. Um, it just got uh, has new airbags on it too. You can pump up the airbags there. It lifts the back end up when you're loaded down, pulling your yacht to the yacht club. Nice size bed in the back. A good, you got the uh, good twin size beds back there, but makes a good size full bed. Um, notice the little curtain right here. That is for the porta potty in there. Uh huh. Uh huh. So yeah, being built by Yacht Club, things are a little bit different. Okay. So let's go in here. No propane system, no stove. It is a 170 on a three quarter ton Chevy chassis. So it's not the 190, not the extended van, it's just the 170, so 17 foot long. All the compulsions in nice shape, nice curtains, big comfy seats. So you step in here and there's your sink on a 12 volt pump there. Uh, no propane, so no stove, but there's a place to put electric skillet and plug it in there. Microwave on this side. Refrigerator. Nice table. Um, up here you have your old 1995 tube TV that probably doesn't work, but it's there. Storage up in there. Uh, a little mirror there, so I would do new LEDs now for the feature that you've never seen before in a camper van. Look at this, it's got an ironing board, huh? An ironing board, look at that. So, when you're camping and your cargo shorts are getting wrinkled, all right, y'all, you can just take care of that now. How's that? Snaps up and folds down like that. Self storage. Yeah, like I said, never said it's useful, but it's kind of cool. Rear air conditioning, um, rear radio as well. So that's kind of the quick rundown on this one. Uh, it does have a rebuilt transmission, um, been well taken care of. It's clean underneath, new exhaust uh, as well. Um, runs and drives great. Price on this is going to be fifteen thousand four fifty, and we'll have it up for sale on the website. Monday once we can take pictures after we get the windshield fixed. So guys have a good weekend. Thanks for checking it out. See ya